Hi guys, welcome to Art Club 101. I hope you're having a great day. We're gonna be doing a drawing today of an aloe vera plant. I'm starting with a pencil using very light sketchy lines. I started with the pot first and I'm not using my eraser too much. I, I can come back and use my eraser at some point. So very, very lightly, I'm going to kind of sketch out um, the pot, then the first leaves that are in front and the leaves that are in back. Now I can come back and erase the lines that I don't want there. Um, now I'm gonna use my pencil, I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna add some of those little spikes to the sides of the aloe vera leaves and um, start darkening up some of those lines. When you're drawing things, you wanna see uh, what what is a harsh dark line? Um, what are soft lines? You know, where do you need to get some more definition? Where do you want less definition? So some of the leaves in the back, I'm doing very soft lines. And then, um, you know, where I'm seeing pretty prominent lines, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more pressure to those, those lines. Also coming back in, erasing anything that I really don't like, don't want there, readjusting on my sizes, etc. Sorry about the drawing going off the edge of the page there. I, kind of had my um, phone in a weird position. But um, now we're gonna do a little bit of uh, shading. So I'm using my softest pencil, but if you if you just have a number two pencil at home, you can do that with this too. And I'm going in where I see the dark shadows on the picture. So I'm looking for those really dark places, uh, kind of down where the soil is, where the leaves are coming into the center of the plant, where they're back behind something else. And I'm taking that softer leaded pencil and pushing a little bit harder and shading those areas darker as they come into the center of the plant. Also going in and sharpening up and darkening any lines that I think need that. Now I'm gonna start adding a little bit of detail. You see those little white spots that are on each of the leaves that are kind of sticking up. They're kind of going in a line direction, but they are also are kind of dotty spotty. Um, so I'm going through and drawing those on now just to kind of give my eyes an idea of where they're going to be. Do not drive yourself crazy by trying to get exactly the same dots that are on the picture. That will be, you know, if you want to be a realist um, artist, go ahead. But if you think that would drive you crazy, just do them the best of your ability. Um, and kind of give your eyes the impression that it's like the picture. But again, this is your drawing. So um, it's kind of your interpretation of what you're seeing. So um, you can start adding some more of those details in there um, to kind of show you where they're gonna be. Uh, I know you might be doing this at home. So, you know, if details drive you crazy and you just wanna go with the simplicity and not add the little details, that's fine too. But if you want it to look, uh, you know, a little more close to what the picture is, then feel free to add uh, in more details. Um, the reason that I'm adding the details in now before the shading is because uh, I want to use the paper, the white of the paper to show through for where those white dots are. If they were a different color, I might use um, a different technique for this, but because they're light, I wanna use the white of the paper. So I'm finishing that up, and now I'm gonna be doing a little bit of shading on each one of the leaves. So I'm gonna do a little bit of lighter shading where I see light, light shades. I'm going around those little dots that I just put in there. And then I'm also gonna come in with my darker, softer pencil. If you don't have a darker, softer pencil, just press a little bit harder with the pencil that you do have and you're gonna get those darker shades of pencil. Um, be looking at um, the colors, because obviously this picture is in color and my um, drawing is in black and white and gray tones. So what I'm gonna wanna do is where there's really dark green and black, that's where I'm gonna be pushing my pencil a little bit harder. And then where there's hard, you know, where there's the light kind of yellowish tones of green or very, very light white, I'm gonna leave those alone and the yellowish tones of green, I'm going to press my pencil just very lightly to do a very light tone on those leaves. Now I'm starting to shade my pot in to make it look a little more rounded. Uh, the picture has a white pot. It kind of looks like it's floating in air in the air, but there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, the paint or the drawing today.